Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the Forex. So, as you can see, the pre-Christmas trading is always a tricky thing because the market could turn in opposite direction and blink of an eye without any significant reasons. So if you're trying to check the headlines, why this has happened, you could find nothing but the statement that investors uh, withdraw some uh, Omicron fears and that has led to the rally on the stock market and on the forex market as well. So demand for the risky assets. On the next day, it might be the opposite. And that's Omicron fears uh, increased and market has dropped. So do you understand? This is just uh, the reason to shake the boat by the market makers. So because nothing really actually has happened and uh, they use the thin market that they could uh, move in opposite direction as they would like to. So and uh, that's actually leads to these big swings on the market. And we are not occasionally said recently since we already have the short position move stops to the break even. And uh, it really was reasonable. Uh, suggestion as you can see right in the evening uh, yesterday's market has turned up so currently what we have actually showed some context currently stands bullish because the bullish trend stands on all time frames additionally we see some bullish moments on other currencies so for example i just remind you what we've got on the great british pound if you remember here we talked about the cup on the handle so we said this might be deep retracement forming the handle with this cup is round bottom some traders call it so here's the handle and this is potentially bullish combination whether it will lead to significant upward action or not but in general it keeps the some uh, classically treats as a bullish context bullish passion so this is what it came but all of them stands in the short term it doesn't mean that we'll get some strong uh, long extended rally but in a, within the today tomorrow session for Christmas trading, this market could climb slightly higher, so so-called Christmas rally. Um, on the Australian dollar, it is important. Recall what we said about head and shoulders. So here, as you can see, with this rally, market has erased this pattern, suggesting upward action, and it means that raising on the head and shoulders, as you understand, this is bullish sign, and this also suggests that market probably should climb higher. So that's what we have here. Uh, it's indirectly also points on the moment that you also could keep going higher but at the same time if you'll take a look at the daily chart you could see that 1380 1370 this is combination of the fab level and daily verbal on the pre-christmas action hardly market will break it up so target stands not too far approximately 40 pips to the upside that could be achieved on this week and then we will see what will happen on the four hour time frame chart we have ABCD pattern with the OP around 1418. So this is long lasting flat ABCD pattern. And it was able to uh, stay here. This market was able to hold the these lows. As you can see, our grabber that we yesterday well have said that we have some doubts that it might work. And in, in fact, it actually has worked nice. And as you can see market shows the upper breakout this area currently on the fall time from chart we also have got this bullish reversal bar so with this upper reduction stands on top bullish reversal bar suggests that market also should keep going higher so uh another target that we stand here is minor one is extension 1380 which is actually agrees with the fib level and daily over but um on your currency this might be the 127 extension of this butterfly so actually this op target also could be for analyzed by this butterfly so that's what we have currently on the fall time from chart it means that in the current situation we're not considering any new shorts as our previous position have closed on the break even or maybe with some positive result anyway it has cancelled totally as all trends have turned bullish we don't have any bearish patterns anymore and we do not consider taking new shorts um, the long position so you could keep an eye on for example if you'd like to trade in the current environment so on hourly chart take a look 
we have up protection. Here we have also few local extensions. So first of all, this ABCD pattern stands at 1372. Uh, inner ABCD hits the OP, shows minor retracement. XOP stands also at 3072. And in general, this target of inner ABCD for the butterfly, it agrees with the 1378 with the 127 extension of the same butterfly and the major daily resistance. So this more probable target. But I'm not excluding the chance that market could trying to climb or showing some spike to complete the 1418 as well. So we will see. So uh, here on the top, we do not have yet any signs of the retracement. That's definitely will start. But potentially, as you could see, here could be minor double repo pattern to be formed. If you will see that it will be formed in this case, you could keep an eye on the possible retracement to the 113 area because this is confidence support and previous tops. So now will work as a support as well. So previously it was resistance, now it will be the support as well. And uh, in current environment, it might be these two levels you actually could consider this very small difference. It's 12 pips test between first level and the confluence. So that's in general an area that you could consider if you would like to go along here with the upward continuation. So that's actually what we have currently on your currency. So uh, let's keep watching what will happen next. So it currently seems very interesting because this market is driving just by artificial factors that actually doesn't exist, do not exist in fact. So just somebody said that uh, Omicron virus is decreasing and markets rallied. So it's just, it's, it just explains the overall situation around the holidays. And it's, that's why it's uh, very difficult to rely on any action that you see. That's why um, in the current circumstances, it would be better to protect position as soon as possible. Once you have taken it, trying to protect it uh, with the minimum action in your favor, just could save a lot of money to you. So let's keep watching what will happen today and tomorrow.